personal. It's personal between me you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing games are missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. All right, so I've been waiting to make this video for a very long time because um, there's always been a big argument here on YouTube about how, just how big is the Crawford Spence fight and how would it do, in, you know, as far as a box office attraction? How would it do at the gate? How would it do? into the pay review um buys because the reality is you know both these guys got pretty big guarantees there was a lot of pulling of teeth to make this fight happen um you know there were times in the past where i'll be honest i had a bad attitude about this fight and uh, i i didn't think this was a big fight like that to be honest with you but you know at the end of the day i'm a boxing fan and i do i do care about the sport on a deep profound level that's why i've dedicated the last eight years of my life to covering boxing and, you know, much to my surprise and much to my happiness, Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence Jr. was a success at the box office. Um, they did a $21 million gate, which is good enough for the sixth highest gate in the history of Las Vegas boxing. Um, the only five fights in front of it in chronological order are uh, Mayweather Pacquiao at $72 million, Mayweather McGregor at $55 million, Canelo Golovkin won at $27 million, Canelo Golovkin two at twenty three and a half million dollars, Tank Davis versus Ryan Garcia at twenty two point eight million dollars, and then Crawford Spence slides in number six at twenty one million dollars. Which best it actually was a little bit better than uh, Mayweather Canelo at twenty million dollars and uh, Mayweather De La Hoya at nineteen million dollars. So uh, a box office success, and then pay per view wise, the number that's been reported by Dan Raphael, uh, I've seen six hundred fifty thousand pay per view buys. I think that's tremendous because for me personally. I never quite looked at this fight as a mainstream big fight, but as the fight got close, it's it, it got that buzz towards the end. I thought I think both fighters, both Crawford, Spence, and everybody involved deserve a lot of credit for how they promoted the fight. And um, six hundred fifty thousand views from uh, buys for me is about you know to, it, it, it exceeded my expectation because I was expecting somewhere around the realm of more like you know. 350k, 450k, something like that, you know. Um, so this it's great, and I think it's good for the sport. And I feel like when you look at, you know, first and foremost, Inno and Fulton, them two guys set the tone for big fights getting made in the sport at the right time. Got made early this year. Benavidez, Plant, Lopez, Taylor, and then yeah, even this fight. Yeah, there was a lot of BS that led up to the fight, but it got made. And I just hope that with the success this fight has done. And with um, both fighters going in there and giving the fans uh, their money's worth. Because look, Tad's Crawford showed the greatness of the world. But he needed a, he needed a, someone like an Earl Spence that um, had the name value, had the recognition, had the accolades, had the respect to, to really get, get him up to bring out the best in him. You know, so uh, I'm hoping that this could be a, 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 a real, real uh, watershed moment for the sport where promoters realize, okay, we got to make these big fights happen because when, when you make the big fights happen, the fans are going to respond. I mean, I don't know how in the world you can complain about a $21 million gate. Um, anytime you're a pay per view event in Las Vegas and you're up there with the Mayweather numbers, you've done something right. Now, to my credit, I told you guys it wasn't quite as big as Tank versus Ryan because it wasn't, but it wasn't far off. It wasn't far off. Um, you know, Ryan Ryan and Tank only did about two million more, two million dollars more at the gate. So that's not it's not too bad. And they and they and they did a great job promoting the fight. I think I think at the end of the day, the bottom line is Crawford and Spence, or Spence Crawford, however you want to title it, was a box office success. And when you factor in, right, Earl Spence is a guy that, you know, he had been he had been a proven draw, but never, you know, Spence was never a five hundred K pay per view guy or a six hundred K pay per view, you know, attraction. Look at Crawford. Crawford used to get clowned by a lot of people because he did, what was it, 50,000 buys against Postal and upwards of 150K against Amir Khan or somewhere in that range. He was never really a proven top upper echelon pay-per-view draw himself. But it goes to show you, when you get two fighters that people are genuinely interested in seeing fight each other, it doesn't matter what the previous pay-per-view history is. When the fights command enough attention and when the fighters uh, present enough to the table and come together, you will get a big event. You will get people that come out in droves. You will get, 
you know, fans that, that, that don't stop talking about the fight. So, um, very happy, very happy, very pleased. And you listen, we're not contrary to popular belief. You know, life's too short to be a hater. I'm not a hater like that. Um, you got to give credit where credit is due. Al Heyman, PBC, and the fine folks over there at that company have done a great job this year giving us great pay per view events. Benavidez Plant, uh, Tank versus Ryan, Crawford versus Spence. Now, now they're going to give us Charlo versus Canelo. Big pay per view fights, and, you know, um, in, on some, in some occasions, you know, significant fights for the sport of boxing in, in, in selected weight classes, you know. So, uh, hey. Thank you, Al Heyman. Thank you to the fine folks there, TGB Promotions, Tom Brown, everyone involved. You know, at the end of the day, who gives a damn? Who gives a rat's ass who the promoter is? I mean, I may joke around every now and then to, to, to troll people, but at the end of the day, on a serious note, who gives a damn who the promoter is? At the end of the day, I just want to come here on my Saturdays and my Fridays and in some cases Sundays or whatever days the fights are happening. And I want to come here and I want to do these lives and I want to be excited and I want to be fired up and, 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 and Crawford and Spence... You know, I had a bad attitude about it for a while because I just talked about it for so long. But the closer the fight got, I, I, was, I got excited for it. After No Way Informed was done, and the fight, you know, because that was the fight that was really my number one priority. Crawford and Spence was fun. It was fun to cover. And, um, you know, I'm high, you know, uh, Crawford and Spence both never got, they, they, they both got criticized in the past for not really promoting themselves. But I think, you know, they brought the best out of each other in terms of um, in the ring and out the ring. Yeah, Spence got his ass whooped. He did. But Spence still showed in the fight that he was a dignified champion. He kept fighting until he couldn't fight no more. And Crawford beat him up until he couldn't fight no more. And that's all you could ask for. You know, he's an honorable fighter. You know, um, it's like Chris Eubank, Jr., uh, Chris Eubank Sr. said when he fought, um, I forgot who he fought. But he had one fight where he said that he was getting beat up so bad, you know, he wanted to, he wanted to wet himself. He wanted to piss himself. But, he, you know, being a champion just isn't about... You know, when you get your hand raised and you win the fight, it's also about when you're when things aren't going your way and you're having a bad night at the office. Can you take your beating like a man and continue to press forward? And Spence did that to the best of his ability, so I'll never disrespect him. Um, he's a he's a true champion. And Terrence Crawford is one of the all time greats of the sport. He cemented it on the night, and it overall felt like boxing won. Boxing won at the box office. Crawford won as far as his legacy. Spence should get the respect he deserves uh, as far as, you know, okay, he got his ass whooped, but he, he didn't quit like a lot of fighters have done over the years in big fights. And overall, like, I complain a lot about this fight. There's nothing really to complain about, and it's a win for boxing overall. So, uh, yeah, that, that's the news. Terrence Crawford and Earl Spence comes in with the sixth highest gate in the history of Las Vegas and does uh, 650,000 pay-per-view buys. So, uh, uh, just a huge W for the sport of boxing. So, yeah, leave a comment down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just a kid from Daniel. So until next time, take your eyes. Thank you for watching another video on the Untouchable True Sports Empire. We're here at the Hatanaka Boxing Gym in Nagoya, Japan. And uh, more great videos just like this one, make sure you guys click right here.